We are all part of the body. Amen. Amen. That means we are all necessary in the body. Amen. Hallelujah. See, we need to realize and recognize our importance in the body. Amen. Because if we knew how important it was for me and you, hallelujah, to be participants in the body, we wouldn't have a take it or leave it attitude about coming to church. Amen. 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 And this is no slight to those that could not make it today because of the weather. Amen. I'm glad some people turned around and went home because they saw people off in ditches and sliding and slipping. But every situation is not a reason not to come to church. Amen. Amen. We need to make it a priority to come to church because every part of the body is necessary. Jesus said the the, 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 I can't say to the baby toe that the baby toe is not important. Amen? Hallelujah. Because when the baby toe gets stumped, everything hurts. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Everything is important. Amen. If everybody was an eye, where is the hearing? Where is the feeling? Where is the speaking? How could we function properly and effectively if everybody's not coming to do their part? Everybody is important. The ministry is not volunteer work where you come if you feel like it and you give if you want to. So you got to realize your importance in the ministry. You have to discern the Lord's body. You are part of the body. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And you have to be a partner in the body so you're not a pirate or a parasite. Amen. We have to discern the Lord's body. It's not just about how I feel and what I'm going through. You are necessary for ministry to flow and go the way it was supposed to. Amen. 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 You're part of the body. Tell somebody you're part of the body. Part of the body. Tell somebody you are an important part of the body. Hallelujah. You are an important part of of the body. 1 Corinthians 12 27 says, Now ye are the body of Christ and members in particular. Amen. We are the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Which leads me to the second question Where is the head? Who is the head? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Just so you know from the outset, I'm not the head. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm not the head of the church. Amen. I'm the lead sheep, amen, hallelujah, and I'm following Jesus just like you, amen, hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the good shepherd, the great shepherd, the chief shepherd, and the Bible says he is the head of the church, amen. He is the head of the body. When I'm discerning the body, I need to know where is the head. It's Jesus. Amen. Amen. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 23. It says this. For as the husband is the head of the wife. Oh, we can stay there for a little while. <laughs> even as Christ is the even is as Christ is the head of the church and he is the savior of the body. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus is the head of the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Colossians chapter 118 says and he is the head of the body. The church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. What is the importance of knowing who the head is? It's knowing who's supposed to have the preeminence. Hallelujah. Church is not all about me. Hallelujah. Church is all about him. Hallelujah. It's not about what I feel, what I think, what I want. It's all about him. Amen. Hallelujah. And see if I'm going to be a partner in this relationship, hallelujah, with the church, I need to realize that Jesus Christ is the head of the church and therefore he's the one in charge. Amen. Hmm. He's the one in charge. Jesus Christ is the one in charge of the church. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Discerning the Lord's body. Hallelujah. If you think of a church 
membership as a relationship, if, honey bun, if I don't hear from you for a few weeks, few months, couple years, I got to find out what is our relationship. Do we really have a koinonia, an exchange that's going on, or am, are we just playing games and pretending like we have a closeness and an exchange that we really don't have? The church is not a volunteer station. The church is a place of ministry. And as ministers, amen, hallelujah, it's required, amen, to make a sacrifice. And we can get mad at the fact that the pastor may mention that we're not here or that the church may wonder why you're not showing up. But the truth of the matter is you can't Feel a part and do your part if you're somewhere far apart from where church is going on. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You need to be under the head. Taking instructions from what, hallelujah, the head is saying from his word and what the head is saying through his mouthpiece behind the sacred desk of the pulpit. Amen. Amen. And if I don't come to church, if I'm not doing my part, feeling my part, being a part of the church, I'm not really submitted to the head, and I'm not, maybe I'm not even really part of the church. We got to define what this relationship is. Amen? We understand it in the natural. Amen? Amen? If you have a so-called relationship with somebody at some point in time, you got to be, okay, what, what are we? Are we boyfriend and girlfriend? Are we fiancés? Amen. What is this? Amen. Friends with benefits. I need to find out what it is that this relationship is. Many people treat the church relationship like friends with benefits. And they only show up when they need something or want something. I didn't plan to say that. Amen. That was the Holy Ghost. Amen? But amen, that's how we treat the church. We come when we feel like it, when we need something, when we want something, not realizing and recognizing that the church is a relationship that's supposed to be an exchange. Hallelujah. Where all parties are blessed as a result. Hallelujah. See, I don't know about you, but when I come to church, every part of church blesses me. Amen. Hallelujah. Whether it be when the prayer is going forth, or when the praise and worship is being sung, or when the time and offering is being taught, but when we greet and hug one another, hallelujah, everything in church, hallelujah, is nourishing, strengthening, hallelujah, and encouraging. So everybody in the church is important, hallelujah, because you don't know what your handshake or your hug might do for somebody. You might be making somebody's day just for them to see you smile. Don't take your place lightly for granted, hallelujah, like the church don't need you, you are important. You are an important part of the ministry. Hallelujah. Look at somebody and say, I need you. I want you. We're all a part of God's body. Hallelujah. Yes. And we're all necessary, amen? Hallelujah, to be the members under the head, amen? Hallelujah, because Jesus Christ ascended into the third heaven, amen, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. Therefore, his physical presence is not here in this, at this moment. So in the person of the Holy Ghost, he has dispatched the several abilities that he had when he was here in his body amongst you and me for us to be his hands and his feet and his mouth, hallelujah, for us to do.
do what he would do, amen, if he was still here. It's more than just the bracelet that we used to wear. What would Jesus do, amen? Hallelujah. We're supposed to be doing what Jesus would do if he was still here. We are his body. Hallelujah. And you are 